So the other day we did, we've had a lot of luck, kind of like we made our own luck recently. Um, we did a sequence down on the beach which was bottom turn, top turn, and you found that helped a lot on the yeah. sand? Super. It's crazy. People look at this and they might think I'm a bit crazy doing it, and, but all the surfers I've ever done with, with, you know, from beginner to, well, beginner I don't do it, but intermediate to advanced good competition surfers have got stuff out of this imitation riding, this kind of like feeling. I base the idea a lot around what we see in karate, in kata. Uh, you'll see people doing the same principles, golf and tennis and stuff. But you learn the movement, particularly you'll see in karate, everything is very slow. Kata, you're going like, why do they do this? There's nobody there and they're all on their own. And then what happens is, as you learn that, you start to be able to make those moves automatically. Your muscles are learning, your body's learning how you should be doing this and you're visualizing the wave that you're riding on or you're visualizing your opponent fighting, whatever it is. So, we're gonna do another sequence of this. We got lucky, we did turning unbroken on the sand. Then we went into the water and you got some nice turning unbroken waves, the best waves we haven't filmed, uh, for sure. We missed them on that morning. You said, yeah, yeah really good waves, but there you go. Uh, and then we got lucky, found a, a bank that we could ride, and then we went there, and then we really got it going. Yella cheated, she went back to the bank and started doing more stuff with nobody else. Got her mum to film, <laughs> that's classic. Um, so now we're gonna go to the next level. Now Yella's not at this level yet. She's done everything that we're talking about. She does bottom turns, she does top turns, she does bottom turns, we've got it. She's not really done cutbacks yet. Not really, kind of, kind of. But certainly, off the lips, not yet. But that's our next stage. Today we're gonna look at uh, using this drill here, and then we're gonna use a, a skateboard ramp just to learn this off the lip movement, okay? So let's go over, you've seen this diagram before. Here's our wave. Now we've chosen Yella's best direction, which is on her going left. So here, we're dropping down the wave. We're gonna come down the wave, we're gonna come up, but we're gonna make a vertical line up. Now don't forget, this white water, it's constantly moving this way. So this off the lip would be pretty much by the white water. White water's following yellow behind her. So they've made the off the lip, dropping straight down. Coming down, Kind of like a top turn, carving time a top turn, but not a full drop down because she can see that she needs a cut back. And she runs the board along the top of the wave into an arcing cut back, and we're gonna learn our white water rebound. Okay, come down to me, Yella. We talked the other day about skateboards and how you can kind of learn to kick turn and you stand in your house and I was particularly bad at it. Um, you'd stand there and you'd do that. You'd do that. And you bring your head up and do that. Then you look your head first and then rotate. So head rotation around. I'm gonna practice that with you now. So wider legs, looking up. And what you're gonna do is that you're gonna go from that position, either forehand or backhand, and the first thing you're gonna do is turn your head and then your shoulder and then everything else will follow. Just watch me a second. Okay. Turn your head first and then go. All right, bring it back. So the head movement is tiny and it's just very early. As I move my head, as I move it, my shoulders start to go. Yeah. Good, staying low, much better, that's good. And again, little movement on the head. Have a look and then you let the shoulder go round. Good, that's better, that's excellent. Good, good weighting on the legs. That's on your forehand, let's do it on your backhand. Okay, needed more head movement there. Look at my backhand, my backhand, I'm there. Really lead from the shoulder. Yeah, nice one. Yeah, one more time. Yeah, good. Now, we're gonna do it 
but we're going to drop the shoulder. I'm going to do it, but watch me drop my shoulder. Yeah, now you're coming down the way. Feel it on your front leg a little bit as you drop it. Now do it on your forehand. Good. Okay, as you finish on your forehand, I want you to keep your shoulder a little bit lower. There, that's it. Now, as you did that, can you feel that coming down into your leg? Because that's you dropping down the wave. Yeah? Don't stay on your back foot. So many people blow they're off the top because number one they don't rotate and number two they don't follow by waiting into the front leg to drop down nice super that's it you got it so here we go let's do it here's my line you're not going to watch me do it first you're going to do it yourself and all we do at that point there at this point here Yella this is where we do our movement yeah Looking down that wave. A little bit higher up it, can you? Cool, okay, paddling down. All right, stop. I want you to do that again, but I want you to have more focus down the line of the wave, okay? Much better. Good, great, take it down slow. Take it down slow. Now I'm the point of the wave you want to hit. Yeah, don't take your eye off that point. Super good inside rail. Relax the arms. Bring it up to that point. Keep it going. Keep it going. Now at this point now, when we rotate, I want you to open the shoulder as well. So, boom. Super. Whoa, hang it there. <laughs> A bit of wind got you there. Keep, take it down. Take it down. Take it down and stop. That's excellent. Let's do that section again, okay? Here we go. What was really good was your vision. So what you're doing, you've checked out what the wave is like down the line, and then you're going, okay, well, that's my point. Boom, yeah? Let's go again. Where are you looking? That's the one. Nice, super. Relax, arms, lovely, good inside turn. You can touch the water if you like. Yeah, cool, cool. Now when we come into the off the lip, we open the shoulder and arm. On and off you go. Head, bang, perfect, take it down. Lovely, inside rail, relax those arms. Soft, soft's good, everything's in the legs. Good, open the hand up slightly to take you back down. Nice, nice down. Inside rail again, drive it, drive it. You come into a cutback section, you can see it coming down. On your forehand it's harder, so you're going to have to rotate. Lift your head out of the water, look across, that's it, now that's rotating. Now you're coming. Front foot, powerful, there, good. Good. Now, as you come up to here, it's exactly the same rotation. You know what I mean? Except it's now the other way. So you're here, when you're ready, head first, and away you go. Well done. That one was a good one. So you can see what we're doing here. Replicating. The important thing is not really the size of the wave, the length of the maneuver, but it's looking down the line. As I was watching Yella then, as she came into that cutback, her eyes looked down the line of the wave. She wasn't looking at the line, you don't need this line. Now, you know, you could play this game at home, all you need is go up and down. You know, I walk up to objects and do off the lips off them, you know, that's, that's how you do it. <laughs> I'll go past hedges and just get a quick barrel, you know. But that's life, you know, you just gotta, boom. One of my favorite instructors, he's now one of these guys who jump out of helicopters for the American Coast Guard when they can't put a winch line down. Big Dan and he'd swim. You know, he's like the Guardian, you know that film with Kevin Costner? He's a flipping hero, the guy, you know? And he's watching coaching. He'd be standing on the beach and you'd see him in the distance. You'd see him go, oh, and he'd just make a turn. You'd see the arms go, oh, you see, watch him come off the top, you know? You knew what he was doing. He was watching everybody, but he saw a wave and he was on it. He was riding it, you know? So that's a vital part. This is what that is. Now, uh, Come to us at the Sir Schools Sri Lanka and in Lanzarote. 
this is part of how we coach. It's visualization. For you, it's been working, you know, we just need the waves to do it on now, you know. But we're gonna take that to the next step now and learn that body movement on a ramp. Okay, thanks. <laughs>